Hi friends, welcome to the series of learning in the SAP BODS performance tuning. In this tutorial, we will discuss uh, the things that we can do to the source and target databases for improving the performance of SAP BODS jobs. So the source and target databases have to be optimized. Okay, so first we will discuss about the source database. It should be tuned in such a way that all the select statements are done as quickly as possible. So for that, the indexes have to be created on appropriate columns based on the data flows created, which means uh, you can see the data flows and uh, check for the join criteria. Based on the columns used in the join criteria, the indexes has, have to be created. Okay. The shared buffer size has to be increased to allow more data to be cached in the database server. The tables that are small enough to fit the shared buffer should be cached. Okay. Caching the data on the database server will reduce the number of IO operations and which in turn speeds up the access to the database tables. Okay. This is what we can do for the source database. And we, we can also create bitmap indexes on the columns with low cardinality. See, bitmap index is a special kind of index uh, which is used uh, by the Oracle. Um, like uh, it uses the bitmaps or bit arrays. Okay. So um, in bitmap indexes, Oracle stores a bitmap for each index key. So each index key in turn stores pointers to multiple rows. Okay. So yeah, but and uh, low car cardinality. See, when we talk about cardinality, we can take an example of a gender. So in gender, we have two uh, two rows, right? Like the male and the female. So uh, so when we have few distinct values for one particular column, then it's it's the low cardinality okay so next we'll talk about the target databases so what we can do for the target so it has to be tuned in such a way that um, the inserts and updates are done as quickly as possible so for that we'll have to turn off the archiving log okay and the redo log also have to be turned off for all the tables. Rollback segments have to be tuned to improve the performance tuning. Data files and redo logs have to be kept in a different raw file. So this improves the uh, performance. So the size, to, size of the shared buffer has to be increased. So also we can do something for the source uh, operating system and the target operating system. So the source operating system has to be tuned in such a way that the data is read quickly from the disk. So for this, the read ahead protocol has to be made for the 64 KB. Usually it is somewhere between 4 to 8 KB. So we'll have to make it to 64 KB. This improves the performance. So when it comes to the target operating system, so there's something called the asynchronous I.O. So this is offered by most of the operating systems. When we turn this on, the turn on the asynchronous I.O. will help to improve the performance. So this is what we can do for the source database target and the operating system to improve the performance of the bots jobs. So in the next tutorial, we will discuss about the different techniques that we can do um, in the jobs like um, uh, the monitor sample rates and all um, in the next video. Keep watching and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you.